Avocados for Sale by Casey Bunau Gurillo. Art by Isabel Rojas. The morning sun peaked over Mount Cayamaca as Carlos and his papa loaded their truck. With strong little arms, Carlos handed him another basket of avocados. Here are some more, papa. Do you have the bags? Papa handed him the roll of green mesh bags. Here they are, mijo. Be sure to put 25 in each bag, he said. Carlos climbed into the back of the truck. One, two, three. He counted as he stuffed the avocados into the bag. Papa, I bet this is what an alligator feels like, he said, touching the bumpy skin. Papa laughed. That reminds me. Be sure to put both ripe and unripe avocados in each bag. That way, my customers can eat some right away and have some for later this week. Do you remember how to tell which are ripe, mijo? He asked. See, si, papa, they are soft. See, si, soft for making your favorite guacamole, papa said. Carlos loved guacamole. He helped mama make it in the kitchen. She let him mash the soft green avocados into a tasty dip. After all the avocados were loaded into the truck, Carlos and his papa set off down the road. They pulled over onto an empty patch by the side of the road and set up the tent and table. Go put out the sign, mijo, papa said, handing Carlos the big blue and green sign. Once all the avocados were put out on the table, they waited for customers. They waited and waited and waited. No one stopped to buy avocados. Late that afternoon, Carlos and his papa packed up the unsold avocados. Oh, mijo, said papa, if we don't sell these avocados soon, they will all be too soft. Too soft? thought Carlos. Papa, stop by the store tonight and buy some containers, he said. I'm going to have Mama help me in the kitchen tonight. That night, Carlos and his mama made guacamole and filled several containers. Then Papa helped him make a new sign. Carlos colored a big picture of a bowl of guacamole, and Papa painted the words, free samples, above it. The next morning, they packed avocados and guacamole into the truck and drove off down the road. Carlos set up the guacamole, avocados, and new sign. They had customers all day long. Late that afternoon, they began to pack up the tent and empty table. Papa, Carlos said, I can't believe we sold all of the guacamole. Not all, mijo, chuckled Papa. I saved one for you because I know it's your favorite. <laughs>